hello everyone and welcome back to my channel welcome to another friday vlog edition video i hope you guys enjoyed your holiday that's if you do celebrate the holiday i hope that it was merry and festive for you and i hope that you are ready for us to jump into this new year 2024 it's about to be on and popping so i hope you all will continue on this journey with me for the new year and we're just going to keep elevating higher and higher right now i'm getting ready to meet my friend at um, a restaurant called osaka it's like a japanese steakhouse, rest steakhouse restaurant basically and yeah hopefully i'll try to get some footage in there for you guys but yeah this is about to be a fun evening for me i'm looking forward to it and i hope you guys are looking forward to it as well i hope you guys are looking forward to the entire video as well because i do have some some good things in here for you all i am uh posting you probably saw from the title of the video i was going to do a separate video for the deadly attraction jar but i decided that i just wanted to um basically insert it into today's video just so that you guys can have both the deadly attraction honey jar video as well as the uh the toby charm that i did yesterday but you guys are probably you might i may post this on friday or i may post this video on saturday but still the toby charm video is on my channel be sure to check it out if you're interested in making that but yeah you guys let's go ahead and uh go ahead <laughs> well i don't know why i keep stumbling over words but let's go ahead and head on to this restaurant You guys so this is the finished toby charm after we let it soak for about i would say probably about five and a half to six hours this is what she looks like this is for those of you that did watch the deadly attraction toby charm tutorial this is the finished product as far as how she looks she looks cute and i'm gonna go ahead and stick her in my purse and again, like I said, in the directions that you want to make sure that you feed the charm every week with fresh whiskey and um, a fresh dosage of the deadly attraction oil. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. And hopefully I will get results out of this. Uh, of course, I'll let you guys know either way. But yeah, this is what she looks like. She's pretty cute. 
All right, you guys, I was going to do a separate video of this uh, honey jar, but basically I was just like, you know, some, I'm just going to share this in my Friday vlog video for those that do actually take the time to watch my videos. I like to leave little, you know, special trinkets or whatever for you guys, just little learning opportunities, because I really do appreciate it when you all take the time in watching any of my videos, but in particular, the Friday vlog videos that I have learned to well, have come to love doing for you all but basically what i'm getting ready to make here is the deadly attraction honey jar which you can find online in the website for uh art of the root i hope you guys can hear me because the background is kind of loud but i do have all the ingredients out and the size jar that i'm using it's like a half ounce jar i'm using this size because i want to, i want to be able to keep this in my purse and just basically you know if I need to carry it around me in my pocket or anything like that, you know, it's bite size, it's small, it's compact, and it will be easy to do uh, to do that. So really what you need as far as ingredients, I went ahead and made my petition and folded it up. Um, I'm keeping it private, of course, because this is something for me. Or uh, you can write your own petition as well when you do, well, if you do decide to do this honey jar. But what you need, of course, is a jar of your size. Uh, your choice of size i mean a petition you will need the deadly attraction oil of course from art of the root some ground cinnamon and then also some honey i'm trying to do everything backwards so you guys can see this but basically any kind of honey this is just some pure honey that i got from the grocery store and i'm gonna go ahead and use that and so basically it doesn't and you also need brown sugar i almost forgot let me see if you guys can see that so it doesn't particularly say like any kind of order that you need to put things in online so i'm just gonna do my own uh, specific type of order i'm the type of person that kind of likes to layer my ingredients when it comes to my jars so what i'm gonna do first is just put the let's move all this fat i'm going to drop the petition in here Get her down in there nice and good as you can see and then next what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add the um the oil the deadly attraction oil so that it can be basically poured onto well on top of my petition so i'm gonna do it that way because i really want the oil to i want the oil to touch the petition before any of the other ingredients touch it if that makes sense so what I did, I just poured a little bit of oil in there. And basically with time, that oil is going to, the paper from the petition is going to soak up the oil, if that makes sense. Just like any other kind of oil, you know, when you put paper on it or you put a tissue on it, you know, it sucks everything up. And that's what I really want for the oil to do with my petition. So I'm gonna close that up. And I'm done with the oil. So I'm just going to set it to the side. And then next what I'm going to do is just start layering the cinnamon, the honey, and the brown sugar. So I'm probably going to go in first with the brown sugar. And excuse if I make a mess, y'all. Because this is kind of, you know, not to say messy ingredients, but these are ingredients that, of course, can make a mess. I'm just layering that on top of there, putting like a good two, two small scoops basically to start off with, with the sugar, as you can see, like so. Then I'm going to go in with my honey. We'll do the honey next. I'm going to pour some of that in. I hope you guys can see. I'm just gonna fill it up. I'm trying to at least cover the bottom portion or at least get halfway in before I go back in with another layer with the honey. And I should have got a napkin because this is pretty sticky. But you see that? And then next I'm gonna go in with the cinnamon. I'm gonna scoop some of that out. I need to get some more cinnamon. I 
really don't have that much left in here. And do that in there like so. Let me get another scoop. Put some more of it in there like that. This is pretty messy, y'all. <laughs> but this is what it looks like so far. As you can see on the inside. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back and just do another layer of everything else. Get some more brown sugar. Put that in there. Two scoops. Like so. Then I'm going to go back with the honey again. And this time I'm just going to fill it up. Finish filling up the jar. And then when it comes to the cinnamon, like the cinnamon is going to be like the sprinkle of everything. Let's see. It's almost at the top. Like so. And basically what this is, um, if you all know or may not know, like when you do your honey jar, any kind of honey jar, since honey is a slow moving component, basically this is for like an extended type of working, like basically a working that you want to last for a long time. Honey jars are very good for that because as you, as you saw when I was pouring it into the jar, honey moves slow. Like it doesn't pour in real quickly. And so therefore like your workings, not to say that your workings are going to move slow when you do a honey jar, but basically it's going to be like an extended uh, working, like over an extended amount of time. And that's one good thing about honey jars, which I do love. And so basically that is it you guys. I wish I had a nap in here so I could wipe off the top but I've basically finished doing my honey jar. And what I'm gonna do, let me wipe this off real quick for you all. This is what it looks like. And me, how I am, I like to shake stuff up. So I'm gonna go ahead and shake this up. I was trying to get everything kind of like moving around in there, just so that like all the ingredients can start like saturating each other and over time of course it will start saturating and you'll notice if you're new to honey jars you'll notice that like everything kind of just like comes together and becomes one which makes it pretty you know pretty cool if you're into stuff like that but yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and put this in my purse and carry it along with me wherever i go along with the toby i showed you guys a clip of that uh earlier in this video and I feel like between the Toby and the honey jar and me actually applying the oil to myself, it's a, you know, it's a strong guarantee that something's about to be on and popping basically with this deadly attraction oil because just the oil by itself already works well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this portion of the video. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, do feel free to leave it in the comment section. But yeah, this is my little honey jar, y'all. All right, let's continue on with the rest of this video.